Which graph has a chromatic number six? For review, a proper vertex coloring or proper coloring of a graph G is the assignment of colors to the vertices such that all adjacent vertices have different colors. And the smallest number of colors needed to get a proper vertex coloring is called the chromatic number of the graph, denoted chi of G. Notice we're given the graphs k sub five, k sub six, k sub seven, and k sub six comma six. The first three graphs are complete graphs. A graph is complete if every pair of vertices is connected by one edge and only one edge. Here we have the graph of k sub five. Notice each pair of vertices is adjacent. So if we want a proper coloring of this graph, let's use numbers instead of colors. Let's number the first vertex one. Working our way around the complete graph, the vertex on the left is adjacent to the vertex colored one. It must have a different color, we'll call it color two. The vertex on the left of the bottom is adjacent to the vertices colored one and two. It must have its own color, let's call it color three. The next vertex is adjacent to all the vertices already colored, one, two, and three. It must have its own color, we'll call it color four. And following for the last vertex, which is adjacent to all the vertices colored one, two, three, and four, it must have its own color, we'll call it color five. Notice how the complete graph on five vertices has a chromatic number of five because five is the smallest number of colors needed to get a proper vertex coloring, such that all adjacent vertices have different colors. In general, we say the chromatic number of the complete graph k sub n is equal to n, the number of vertices. Now we know the chromatic number of k five is equal to five. The chromatic number of k six is equal to six. And the chromatic number of k seven is equal to seven. The last graph is the complete bipartite graph k sub six comma six. A graph is bipartite if the vertices can be divided into two sets, A and B, with no two vertices in A adjacent and no two vertices in B adjacent. Here's an example of a complete bipartite graph. This is a graph of k sub two comma three, but it will work. We can let the top vertices be in set A and the bottom vertices be in set B, where no two vertices in either of the sets are adjacent, which means it only takes two colors to get a proper vertex coloring. We would color the vertices in the top row one color, and color the vertices in the bottom row a second color. And now we do have a proper vertex coloring. No adjacent vertices have the same color. For any bipartite graph, the chromatic number is equal to two. This indicates a chromatic number of k sub six comma six is equal to two. So the question asks, which graph has a chromatic number six? We now know only k sub six has a chromatic number of six. And the second question is, could this graph be planar? A planar graph is a connected graph in which no edges cross. And we know from the four color theorem, if G is a planar graph, then the chromatic number of G is less than or equal to four. And since our graph has a chromatic number of six, there's no way the graph can be planar. The answer is no, the graph cannot be planar. I hope you found this helpful.